so dear students uh, today we are uh, going to see the uh, other part of uh, skin disorders which is uh, immunologically mediated diseases last class we had discussed uh, all the genetic diseases today we shall discuss immunologically mediated diseases also called as autoimmune disorders of this pemphigus and pemphigoid is already over we shall see the other lesions today so the first lesion is lichen planus lichen planus is an autoimmune disease uh, it is a very common mucocutaneous disease and um, uh, it was described by wilson in 1869 you might have heard of this before as a pre malignant condition and uh, in lichen planus involvement of oral mucosa is uh, more frequent and it is often preceded by skin lesions and it occurs in about 2.6% of uh, indian population and what is the pathogenesis what happens is the cd8 t cells will uh, cause apoptosis or programmed cell death of the oral epithelial cells and uh, they will also recognize um, an antigen a uh, mhc class 1 antigen on the epithelial cells that is the keratinocytes which will release cytokines and uh, this will attract um, lymphocytes towards the epithelium and this will lead to degeneration of the basal cell layer basically it is uh, t cells okay cell mediated immune system will play a role and etiology specifically is not known uh, stress has been indicated as one of the major factors it's very common in uh, about fifth decade of life and uh, it has a more female predilection and um, skin lesions and uh, mucosal lesions will be present and um, the skin lesions will appear as uh, purple pruritic polygonal papules okay purple pruritic polygonal papules and uh, they will appear bilaterally symmetrical and uh, there is one thing called as coiepness phenomenon that is the um, skin lesions which appear along the uh, areas of irritation or injury uh, that we will call it as coiepness phenomenon uh this areas of irritation or injuries will lead to the development of like uh, upon that uh, area you will have lichen planus like lesions and um, even oral mucosal lesions will be bilaterally symmetrical there are some types like reticular atrophic erosive like that okay uh, of this reticular type of oral lichen planus is very common this consists of uh, fine whitish lines called as wickham striae and it is very common in bilateral buccal mucosa okay reticular lichen planus bilateral buccal mucosa it will appear as fine whitish lines called wickham striae atrophic type is this will appear as poorly defined erythematous areas and uh, erosive type as the name indicates it will appear as uh, uh, pseudo it will appear as ulcerations uh covered with uh, keratosis and erythema and as the name indicates hypertrophic type will appear as an elevated white lesion but of all this reticular type is very common this picture also shows the uh, fine whitish lines called as wickham's striae okay and histologically uh, first itself i said there will be degeneration of the basal cell layer so uh, epithelium will show hyperkeratosis acanthosis of the spinous cell layer and degeneration of the basal cell layer and those degenerated cells will be called as civet bodies hyaline bodies or cytoid bodies the degenerated cells and um, this will lead to some cleft like spaces called as max joseph cleft like spaces so this picture shows the basal cell degeneration and beneath that itself you can see a blue band which is sub epithelial inflammatory or uh, lymphocytic infiltrate and um, the retipics will be saw tooth retipics so histopathology of lichen planus is uh, something which is important you will have liquefaction degeneration of basal cell then civet bodies sub epithelial lymphocytic infiltrate max joseph spaces and saw tooth retipics okay and um, so malignant transformation it is usually very less and um, usually it is treated with topical steroids like triamcinolol acetonide 0.1% commonly available as kinacot there is something called as lichenoid reaction 
for lichen planus there is no etiology but for lichen or reaction it occurs after the administration of some drugs or dental restoration or uh, tobacco chewing or uh, something like that this will appear clinically similar to lichen planus uh, but you can see there is a restoration and these lichen or reactions are not bilateral only lichen planus is bilateral so histologically in lichen planus there will be a sub epithelial inflammatory infiltrate here you can see a diffuse inflammatory infiltrate so differences means if you see basically lichen planus lesions are bilaterally symmetrical this is unilateral and uh, there is no etiology for lichen planus lichen or reaction there can be some etiology and uh, the, um, there is a sub epithelial lymphocytic infiltrate but for lichen or reaction there will be a diffuse inflammatory infiltrate so there is one more lesion called as erythema multiforme this is also an autoimmune disorder and it is an acute self limiting disease it is characterized by skin lesions and those lesions are called as iris lesions or target lesions and um, like um, there are uh, two forms one is minor and the other is major uh, for the minor form uh, usually they say um, uh, it is triggered by some virus like hsv major form is caused by some drugs and infectious agents basically erythema multiforme will contain erythematous macules or papules uh, they will appear as like um, they will have a concentric ring like appearance with varying shades of erythema and they are called as target uh, lesion or iris lesion uh, can you see here the lesions will appear like this like bull's eye lesions or a target lesion okay and uh, the major form of erythema multiforme is called stevens johnson syndrome this is a very severe form you can see a very hemorrhagic vesicles and bullae on the skin and also even eyes can can get affected mouth can get affected so there will be redness blisters and erosions and histologically there will be some edema in the uh, epithelial cell layer it is very non specific there is one more lesion called toxic epidermal necrolysis that is also a, a bullous drug eruption and this has to be differentiated from um, seven johnson syndrome and staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome and if any drug is suspected it has to be removed and uh, psoriasis is a non contagious skin disorder i hope you might have heard of this before uh, oral mucosal uh, lesions are very rare skin lesions will appear as uh, small dry papules covered by a silvery scale and uh, when the, uh, can you see here uh, the erythematous lesion covered with a very uh, dry silver like scale and when this silver like scale is removed you can see some tiny bleeding spots called as auspitz sign and histologically inside the epithelium you can see some abscesses called mandros abscesses it is treated with uv light or steroids or uh, soralin plus uv light therapy there is one more disease called mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome discovered by i mean first reported by dr kawasaki and so it is also called as kawasaki disease this is uh, basically it is very common in japanese children uh, this is nothing but a systemic vasculitis there will be fever erythema desquamation of the skin uh, non separative cervical lymphadenopathy and swellings of hand and feet okay